kicking addiction. It's a hard fight many Hoosiers are battling right now, but just a couple of hours ago, lawmakers sent a strong message trying to help them. Yeah, they're advancing a measure that would open three new addiction recovery centers statewide. State House Bureau Chief David Williams is here to explain. Under that bill, one of those centers would be placed in Indiana's northern, central, and southern regions. I just felt this hopeless and hopelessness and emptiness, you know. 40-year-old Sean McDonough spent thousands of dollars to get his cocaine, booze, and marijuana fix after he lost his Wall Street job in 2009. For almost a decade, he was addicted. For me, it was more of a like a calming effect. So I kind of turned to it to have an escape, you know, from from reality. Reality caught up with him in 2017. He decided to get clean. Now he helps other people struggling with addiction. That's why he and several others championed an addiction recovery center bill. State lawmakers talked about it today. It would give Hoosiers a central place to go for help with beating addictions to things like meth, opioids, alcohol, or cocaine. That's not easy to get today. And even once you get plugged into addictions treatments, it's still very fragmented. You might have to go to five different agencies to receive the five types of services you need. State Senator Jim Merritt says if approved, the state would give each center a million dollars in startup money. I have found that we have gotten ourselves into a situation where it's not only an opioid epidemic, it's a, an addiction epidemic. And you're talking about different types of addiction from tobacco to alcohol to opioids and to meth. The idea could mean a new and better life for people like Michael Oppelt. He relapsed back into alcohol nine months ago after more than 25 years in recovery. There's good people every day dying because they don't have access to service. So Hoosiers can get the addiction recovery help they desperately need. So the committee unanimously passed that bill just a little while ago. It now heads to the House floor for its first full vote. I'm David Williams, Fish TV, News 8.